So we got the public to step up five by five by five. Five reps of isometrics, five reps of an eccentric focus, and then five reps at your choosing, mixing up tempo and depth. Hello everyone, Dr. Flex coming to you live from a place near you, a world-renowned short sprinter and physical therapist. I spent years sprinting around the globe and helping athletes all over, all levels, recover from and prevent injuries, particularly knee pain. See, today, I want to talk to you about an exercise that not only transformed my training, but has also become a staple in physical therapy practice. And that so happens to be the public and stuff. Knees over toes guy, shout out to the principles that are often and actively being promoted. And thank you for shouting out the individual who thought of this concept, or at least was one of the first to write it down, Charles Poliquin. Uh, the Poliquin step in that the legendary strength coach, Charles Poliquin, was originally designed to isolate and strengthen the vastus medialis oblique, or the VML crucial muscle in the quadriceps, which plays, which plays a key role in stabilizing our knees. Pelican's approach was revolutionary, as he recognized that many common knee issues stem from an imbalance in the quadriceps, particularly a weakness in the BMO. Right Pelican developed this step-up variation to directly target the VMO and it quickly gained popularity among athletes and therapists alike for its ability to address knee pain and enhance lower body strength. So, how do you perform the Pelican step? Or at least, how am I performing it today with you guys? You know, because you're supposed to be doing this alongside with me. Let's get to the nitty gritty of the Pelican step. This isn't your average step up. The key is in the step up, the setup and the execution, which demands precision. So, start by finding a small step. I happen to use some bumper plates. Ideally, higher than four inches. Place your foot on the step with the heel slightly elevated, allowing your toes to grip the edge. Firmly place your feet into the ground. Use that tripod foot to have three points of contact in your forefoot, your midfoot, and your heel. Elevated heel ensures that the emphasis remains on the ball of the foot, engaging the VMO more effectively. So, in order to execute, keeping your torso upright, slowly bend your knee, allowing it to track over your toes. The motion should be controlled, with a focus on engaging the quadriceps throughout the movement. The key here, though, is not to rush. The slower the movement, the more you'll activate the VMO, stabilize the knee joint. As you become more proficient, you can increase the height of the step or add resistance by holding some dumbbells, or in my case, a barbell. It happens to be in this cage, which aids with my ability to stabilize and focus on the muscle-mind connection and contractions. See, progressing will give you the ability to continue to challenge the VMO, leading to greater strength, greater stability, and greater kinesthetic awareness of how your body feels at that angle. However, if you're new to this movement or dealing with a significant knee pain, you can regress the exercise by reducing the range of motion. Start with a very low step and only allow a small bend in the knee. As your strength improves, gradually increase the range of motion. See, I wanted to squeeze in a little bit of talk about the multitude of benefits. Now, why would you incorporate the Pelican step into your routine? The benefits are vast, especially if you're someone who struggles with knee pain already or simply want to bulletproof your knees. VMO, VMO activation, as I mentioned earlier, is one of the first benefits. The Pelican step is unparalleled in its ability to target the VMO. Strengthening this muscle not only reduces knee pain, but also improves knee stability which is crucial for any dynamic movement, whether you're sprinting, jumping, or simply navigating through daily activities. You want to pick up something from the floor? You will need them knees. You want to jump high? You will need them knees. Joint health, the overall benefit to this Pelican step. 
is that it promotes better alignment of the knee joint. By ensuring that the knee tracks over properly over the toes, you're reducing undue stress on ligaments and tendons, which can help prevent injuries such as patellar tendonitis or ACL tears. Thirdly, improved athletic performance. For athletes, particularly sprinters like myself, knee stability is everything. A pumpkin step enhances lower body strength, leading to more powerful sprints and jumps. It's not just about speed, it's about controlled power, which this exercise delivers. Fourthly, injury prevention. Whether you're an athlete or someone looking to stay active at your age, injury prevention is key. The pelican step reinforces the structures around the knee, making it more resilient to the stresses, sport, and daily life. Functional strength. Unlike many exercises that isolate muscles, the pelican step builds functional strength. This means that the strength you gain translates directly to real-world activities, whether that's improving your sprint time, enhancing your jump height, or simply making it easier to climb the stairs. There you have it, folks. We've gone through an entire workout together. I've sewn a couple of key emojis and pictures on the surface of this video screen to interact, to vibe, to pass knowledge. You've heard the benefits. Now go outside and try it yourself. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at any time. The comments are not far. In fact, you're not far from me at all. This audio is brought to you live by an individual called Dr. Flex coming from a place near you. I want everybody to have a great day. To check out AuthenticFlex.com to find out the latest news, coolish fashion trends, and new AI tools to broaden the scope and increase the range of your perplexity. It's like riding a wave. Sometimes I'm on, sometimes I'm off. But at least I know where I want to go. And I want to take as many people with me as I possibly can because the feeling is amazing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.